Alrighty guys, so we are officially back making videos here at the beautiful Folsom Lake, which honestly, I genuinely love this place just because there's so many great spots to film and it's so great just for taking photos and videos. And I thought it would be a great place to take today's video. And pretty much we do have some very, very big news. And that is I graduated college, which is something that I never thought I would say. But now after four years at California State University, Sacramento, I did indeed get my bachelor's degree in computer science, which is just crazy to think about. Just so thankful for everyone along the way, my friends, my family, people at the university. Now, personally for me, I'm not someone who likes to use the word surreal a lot, but it definitely felt surreal just being able to walk on that stage, get my degree and just being able to see the amount of work that I had to put in for the past four years. Might even plan to pursue my master's degree, which is another video that I will plan to post later on, but we'll talk more about that later on on the channel. Just very grateful for everyone along the way, and of course, more memories to come. But besides my graduation, today's video is actually about the new gimbal that just came onto the market today, which is in fact the Zune Cinepeer Weeble 3E. So right here, we do have the Zune Weeble 3E. This is the Cinepeer edition, and Zune was kind enough to send out the gimbal. This video is not sponsored by Zune in any way, but they were kind enough to send out the gimbal for review, which was really kind, especially since I've never really had an unreleased product to review on the channel before. So this is a really cool opportunity that Zune was able to present to me. But when it comes to Zune, I've had experience with them in the past. Like literally my first two gimbals that I've ever owned were made by Zune. Like literally my first gimbal was the Zune Smooth Q, which is made for smartphones. And then for my first camera stabilizer, it was the Zune Weeble S. And when it comes to my past experience with Zune, literally the best way I can describe them is that if you are looking for a gimbal or a stabilizer that's the best bang for buck, it's really hard to not go with Zune just because, especially when you are looking at competitors like DJI, obviously what you are getting for that premium price tag is really nice. But of course you are spending a lot of money. If you are someone who doesn't want to spend that hefty price tag for those premium based products but still getting a premium product in and of itself Zune is definitely one of those brands that I'd highly recommend. So with the Weeble 3E inside the box, you are getting the foam case, you're getting a USB-C to C cable and also a C to type A cable. You are getting a Allen tool wrench, you are getting the gimbal, a slider, and also the tripod base. And, and typically with Zune gimbals, you can get a sling, so that way it's easier to hold, especially in those sling positions and pretty much the briefcase position. Um, but it doesn't come with the gimbal itself. That is something that is sold separately. But pretty much we are gonna be testing out the gimbal here at Folsom Lake and just getting a quick few shots and really just seeing how well this gimbal can perform to something like a DJI RS2 and just really just giving my overall thoughts to see if this is a gimbal that I'd recommend or if it's just something that just came out into the market that it's like, okay, it's pretty cool. So let's give this gimbal a shot. So in order to set up the Weeble 3E, pretty much you do have your locking arms, which is very similar to DJI gimbals if you've had experience with them in the past. So pretty much in the back, we do have one that we can unlock and then to the side, we can unlock it as well. And then we can pretty much relock them in so that way they are all nice and stabilized. So this is pretty much gonna be the way how it's gonna look once everything is uh, ready to go. Boom, we are ready to go. So this is how it's gonna be once it's fully set up, ready to go. And as you can tell, the gimbal is very responsive, very quick. And initial first thoughts just using the gimbal itself is that it is very, very quiet given the price tag that you're paying for and also its form factor. I'm actually kind of surprised by it just because I'm obviously very used to DJI gimbals since I do own the DJI RS2 and more recently the DJI RS4. And just really comparing the RS4 to the Weeble 3E, this is obviously a lot more compact, which means that yes, it is easier to put into your bag and it's gonna be a lot more lightweight and portable. But the only downside is that if you do have a bigger setup, especially for someone like me who uses a camera like the Canon EOS R5C, it may be too heavy for this gimbal and pretty much what you can put on it. So really, if you are someone who is a Sony shooter or you do have a lighter setup and you're not necessarily planning to attach too many accessories to it, like a microphone or a follow focus, and you're pretty much just gonna have it nice and nifty like this, um, then this is definitely a gimbal that I can highly recommend, especially with the Zune Weeble 3E. It does have a portrait mode, so that way if you do want to mount the camera vertically, you can actually do so. So if you are someone who does post content to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, this is definitely gonna be a perfect companion for your needs. So when it comes to the gimbal itself, it does have two USB Type-C ports. It does have one on the arm that's closest to the camera, and it does have one on the side of the gimbal. So pretty much the one on the side of the gimbal is really just there for charging, and also if you are gonna be updating the firmware, whereas the USB Type-C that is next to the camera itself is pretty much there so that way if you do want to connect a Type-C cable to your camera, which is usually going to be the Type-C to Type-C cable, 
that one you can actually control the camera itself so especially with a gimbal you do have the record button so when it comes to the gimbal you do have the joystick which controls the x and y functions of the gimbal itself so you can go up and down or you can go side to side and then also on the front of the gimbal you do have a slider which actually controls the roll axis so that way if you want to get some nice cool rolling shots you can do it with the slider itself and then you do have the button where if you do press it it will switch the front if you press it three times and then it'll go back to the front. So again, you do have some really cool functionality that does kind of take it from DJI. I know DJI also has very similar functions. And given the fact that this gimbal is only $249 and you are comparing it to other gimbals on the market like the DJI RS3, which I think is around like $600. So the fact that you are getting this gimbal for more than half off and getting like pretty much very similar functionality to it is really cool. Given how quiet it is, how nimble it is, and how small it is, being able to have a setup like a Sony FX3 and a 24 to 70, this is gonna be a really nice companion for doing things for whether it's TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or even for doing things such as real estate videos and weddings. I think it's just such a nice form factor, but definitely for the shoots where I'm gonna be needing a much more powerful gimbal, or I'm gonna be needing to use a larger setup like my Canyon OSR 5C with my 1535, or just anything that's gonna require more power, then I'm definitely gonna be using my DJI RS4 Pro. And with my thoughts, that's gonna do for us on this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and me talking about the Cine Pure Weeble 3E. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Again, thank you so much to Zune for sending out this gimbal. Again, not sponsored, but I do think that this gimbal has a lot of promise, especially for those that do want a nice compact gimbal within that 250 under $300 price tag. And yeah, just being able to see what you can get for that price tag, it is really, really impressive and I feel like just the era that we live in now is just really impressive the fact that we can get a high quality gimbal for a really nice affordable price tag and that's going to do for us on this video so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys on the next video peace